In this video, I will show you how to get started using WebStarts eCommerce. WebStarts eCommerce is your shopping cart, your email marketing, and customer management solution all in one. The first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is set up your basic company information. You do this by clicking on the Settings tab. Here you can put in your company name, your company's email address, and the default web address for your website. Please note to begin receiving live transactions, you must make sure that you're in live mode. If you're in test mode, make sure you click the appropriate link to make your transaction receiving live. If you're in test mode, be sure to click the link to make your account live. Once you've entered your basic company information, go ahead and click on the e-commerce link right here. This is where you put in your payment gateway information. Your payment gateway is like a virtual card terminal, like the ones you swipe at a gas station or a convenience store. You should have received some authorized .NET account information from your merchant credit card processor when you applied to start receiving credit cards. If you don't have a merchant credit card processor, you can click on the form on our website to apply to get one, or you can use PayPal. If you're using a merchant processor, be sure to enter in your authorized.net gateway of payment information. If you're using PayPal, be sure to enter your PayPal email address. Once you've entered the appropriate information, click Save and continue. Moving along, you can set up your shipping and your tax information. Refer to the Help video section to see further details on how to do these individual actions. Now that your company information is set up, let's go ahead and walk through setting up your first product. Go ahead and click on the products link and then go down to the section that says add product. Here's where you're going to go ahead and type in your product name. And you're going to put in your product price. You can also enter your product weight whether you want this to be recurring billing, meaning you want to automatically charge your customer's credit card on a weekly, monthly, daily basis, and so forth, whether you want to collect shipping at all, or whether you want to charge sales tax. You can also choose whether you would like to move your customers from one of your email lists to another after their transaction. For example, maybe you're sending them an email newsletter, but once they've become your customer and made a purchase, you want to promote different items to that individual so you would move them to a different list. You can see exactly how to set up these lists in the uh, email broadcast and communication tutorial. Once you've made these changes, go ahead and click Next. From here, you can customize your header graphic and background image that appears on your checkout page on a product-by-product -product basis but I recommend that you just change this under the general section of your company so it's the same for every page. I'm going to click Save so I can continue. Click on the Thank You page and type exactly what you want your customer see to see after the transaction is completed. This can include HTML code and should include a link back to your site and you should also provide your customers with instructions on what to do next. If you have a whole store of products, I recommend going ahead and clicking on the catalog link and setting up a complete catalog of all your items. What a catalog does is it allows you to sort your items by a category and include a small product thumbnail and a larger image for each of your products. Your customers can then click through these products and see detailed information on a product by product basis, add them to their cart, and check out. I'm going to show you an example. Here's an example of a couple of products that have been added to my cart on a page built with WebStarts eCommerce. 
Notice I have two links that appear directly above my shopping cart information. They're labeled View Catalog and Continue Shopping. Continue Shopping will allow customers to go ahead and add items to their cart and then go back to where they left off in their shopping experience. View Catalog will take them to the entire catalog showing all the different items by thumbnail that my company offers. They can also sort by category. If they want to find out more information about a particular product, they can simply click on it and see a detailed view. From here, they can also continue to add these items to their cart. When they're ready to check out, they'll simply click check out and then continue processing their transaction. So going back to our administration section, we go ahead and type up a product description. And we go ahead and choose a category or create a new category for our product. We can also upload our product images. You can upload a full detailed product image or a product thumbnail or both. A thumbnail image should be a smaller version of your product. I've created a smaller and larger ver uh, image of my product and I'm going to upload those by clicking the Save button. Click in on the Options tab to create options for your product. For example, if you're selling t-shirts and they come in several different sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, you'd want to set these up as options. These options will then appear on your checkout page. Your customers will be able to choose the option, for example, size, color, etc., when they go to checkout. Now that you have set up your company information and your first product, go ahead and click on the communications section. This will take you to a place where you can schedule follow-up emails and email broadcasts and get the most out of every one of your leads and customers. To set up a new list, simply click Add List. You'll be asked for some basic information like, for example, the name and email address of the person who is sending the emails in the list. Once you've gone ahead and add this, you can choose to send those email results or not. I don't want to get them. Now you've created a list. You can get people directly added to your list by clicking on the Manage Subscribers, or I'm sorry, the Subscription Tools tab. From here, you can choose your list from the drop-down menu, and then the, the page where you would like to send your customers after they have completed the opt-in form on your website that we're about to build. So choose a page that you would like to forward your customers to, and choose which fields you would like to ask for in your opt-in form. Go ahead and click Create Form and copy and paste this code into your Web Starts web page. When your site visitors fill out this form, they'll automatically be added to your Web Starts e-commerce system into the list that you selected. You can manage several lists all at once. To create follow-up emails, for your lists, go ahead and click on follow up, choose a list, click add new, and type your email. Notice that you can use these substitution codes to automatically replace a customer's name, whether it be first name, last name, their email address, or any other information that you gathered from that form that you've already placed on your website. For example, if I want to use my first name in the email, I would simply choose the, the uh, substitution code for first name type up my subject and or the body of my message And where the substitution code displayed here appears will now be replaced by my actual first name in the email as long as I gathered that information on the form 
that I showed you how to put together just moments ago. Once you've created your message, you can go ahead and click Next and create the next message. Notice in the delay field, that's the length of time that will pass before this email is sent to your site visitor upon opting in or signing up on your website form. If it's zero, it will be instant. If it's one, it will be one day. If it's 10, it will be 10 days, so on and so forth. So that's a basic rundown of WebStart's e-commerce and some of the features that you'll need to get acquainted with just to get started. Don't forget to check out all the WebStart's e-commerce video tutorials. There's a ton of functionality built into here. It's sure to automate every aspect of your business and bring you great success online. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to see more videos like this and of course build your very own free website.